When they say there isn't such a thing as free lunch, they weren't joking because this video explains it all. Because there are some mansions you wouldn't live in if you were offered to for free. But before we start, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment below this video. So why would anyone say no to a free mansion that probably would have cost a fortune? Let's check out these top 8 mansions you wouldn't live in even if they were offered for free. Number 8. The Myrtle's Plantation when General David Bradford built his home in 1796, he certainly didn't know it would be aliased as one of the most haunted homes in America. The Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana sits on 600 acres of land and was initially named Laurel Grove. It was renamed the Myrtles by its new owners when it was sold in 1834. This indeed brings Moaning Myrtle from Hogwarts to mind considering the similar circumstances surrounding its mystery. So how does a seemingly harmless plantation become a haven of dreams and fear? Firstly, it is believed that the land on which the house stands was a burial ground for Native Americans. But that isn't all there is to it. It is also set to house 12 ghosts, one of which is Chloe, a slave girl. Legend has it that Chloe was caught eavesdropping on her master, Clark Woodruff, and one of her ears was chopped off as punishment for being nosy, but she didn't embrace her punishment wholeheartedly. To get back at her master, she baked a poisonous birthday cake that killed the master's wife and daughters. Chloe was said to have been hanged by the other slaves on the plantation and her body thrown in the Mississippi River. In 1992, the proprietress of the Myrtles reportedly took a photograph of the building. There, in the photo was a girl believed to be Chloe. Today, the rumors of Chloe and her ghosts lurking in the building still lingers. Perhaps you may want to take a look someday. Number 7. Leith Hall Leith Hall is believed to be the spookiest castle in Scotland. The mansion was built in 1650 at Aberdeenshire. Leith Hall was named after the Leith Hay family that occupied it for about three centuries. With its 286 acres of land and spectacular garden, it is undoubtedly a house anyone would want to live in. But what makes this the spookiest house in Scotland? It's not just the massive size of the mansion and its towers. Leith Hall is said to be haunted by a man with a white bandage on his head. The man is said to be the ghost of John Leith, who was shot in the head. The ghost of Henrietta Leith Hayes also roams the corridors in apparent grief. There is also a lady with evil laughter, a young soldier, and children playing in the house. During the First World War, the mansion was used as a temporary hospital with about 500 patients. Perhaps some patients died and still haunt the house? Two writers, Elizabeth Bird and Alana Knight, stayed at the mansion at two different times. They both reported a ghostly presence and paranormal activities. The Leith House was featured in the paranormal TV show Most Haunted in 2003. Number 6. Winchester Mystery House The first thing that comes to mind when you hear the name Winchester is rifles. And considering what horrors guns have perpetrated, it's no surprise to find the name on this list. The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California was home to Sarah Winchester. Sarah was the widow of William Winchester, the firearm magnate. With a fortune of $20 million, Sarah Winchester left New Haven and moved to San Jose, where she bought an eight-room farmhouse. So how did a farmhouse transform into a big haunted mansion you wouldn't want to live in? Sarah lost her little daughter and her husband to illness. Following these deaths, she believed that her family was being haunted by ghosts seeking vengeance. The ghosts were of those people who have died as a result of the Winchester merchandise. For 38 years, construction continued on the mansions. The house is a labyrinth of 160 rooms, 40 bedrooms, 10,000 windows, 47 fireplaces, and 17 chimneys. What is more peculiar about the building is how there are staircases that lead nowhere, windows in odd places, and several doors with dead ends. These were built to either confuse the ghosts or appease them. Number 5. The Whaley House in California Since 1857, the Whaley House stands in Old Town, San Diego. Thomas Whaley built the California Historical Landmark as a residence for himself and his family. Today, the Whaley House serves as a museum for tourists and those who have a penchant for the spooky and paranormal. The Whaley House and its history have been featured on TV shows and alluded to in movies. It is often regarded as the most haunted house in America. 
So how did it get its famous title? The dark and gloomy events in the Whaley House predate its establishment. The land on which it stands was the execution site where the thief, Yankee Jim Robinson, was executed. Not long after moving into the house, the family lost an 18-month-old son, Thomas, to scarlet fever. In 1885, one of the daughters, Violet, shot herself after suffering depression from a failed marriage. Today, it is believed that several ghosts haunt the place, including Little Thomas, Violet, and Yankee Jim. Visitors have claimed to hear the loud footsteps of Yankee Jim and the giggles of Thomas. Violet still roams the second floor, and the scent of Anna Whaley's French perfume is still perceivable. Several other family members who had lived and died in the house still haunt the place. Would you bear a night there? Maybe not. Number 4. Blicking Hall Do not be beguiled by this one. Its enchanting lake view, gardens, and parks with an awe-inspiring landscape would lead you to want to live there, but you should think twice about that. Although the estate and land had been owned before its remodeling, the Blicking Hall, as it is known today, was built between 1616 and 1626 in Norfolk, England. The palatial residence was built by architect Robert Liming for Sir Henry Hobart. Blicking Hall was built upon the ruins of the old Boleyn home, but one question comes to mind here. Where did the Boleyns go? It is believed that they didn't really go. Anne Boleyn was beheaded following her inability to bear her husband, Henry VIII, an heir. Her father, Sir Thomas Boleyn, also passed away shortly afterward. But their ghosts still haunt Blicking Hall. Every 19th of May, the ghost of Anne is believed to arrive at the mansion. She rides home in a coach driven by a headless coachman. She carries her own head in her lap and vanishes as she approaches the entrance. Number 3. Rose Hall Believe what you may, but the stories that go around about the White Witch of Rose Halls are quite scary. You wouldn't want to stick around too long to test the integrity of such stories. This mansion is located in Montego Bay in Jamaica. The Rose Hall housed Annie Palmer, who has been dubbed as the White Witch of Rose Hall. It was a plantation house passed down from one generation to another. According to legend, Rose Hall once belonged to one Annie Palmer. Annie was born in England but raised by a voodoo priestess in Jamaica after her parents' death. She married John Palmer, the owner of Rose Hall. Annie inherited the mansion after her husband's death. Of course, she had a hand in her husband's death just as she killed the other two that followed. As a witch, she controlled her plantation with iron fists, torturing and killing as she pleased. Her slaves were the ones mostly at the receiving end of her brutality. Eventually, she was murdered by her lover, Slave. Annie Palmer's remains are said to be buried on the grounds of Rose Hall, but her spirit roams freely. Imagine what happens if you're caught in her web. Although the legend has been debunked, you don't want to risk your head and take chances, do you? Number 2. La Lurie House If you're a fan of the American Horror Story franchise, you must have heard of the La Lurie Mansion. Well, even the movie producers took care not to film in the house. The La Lurie House is located at 1140 Royal Street at the famous French Quarters. It is known as the most haunted house in New Orleans. The house is named after the infamous mistress, Madame Delphine La Lurie. Madame Delphine kept slaves and was known for the inhumane treatments she subjected them to. She was known to have chained, tortured, and punished her slaves with immense brutality. One day, a slave retaliated by burning down the house, thereby exposing Delphine's secret. Today, the spirits of the dead slaves haunt the mansion. But that's not all there is to the paranormal activities in the house. In 1894, a tenant in the house was mysteriously murdered. Several years later, the house was used as an all-girls primary school. The school's little kids were reportedly attacked by an unknown woman suspected to be Madame Delphine's ghost. The house's paranormal activities have lasted over two centuries, and they don't seem to be stopping soon. Would you still consider living there? Number 1. The Amityville Horror House Well, for this one, its reputation surely precedes it. It has been featured in books and movies with stories of the evil that lurked behind its walls. The Amityville House is located on 112 Ocean Avenue in New York. The house was named after Amityville Village in which it stands. The mansion has a Dutch colonial design, 
but most noticeable are the eyes it seems to have. Here's how the Amityville Horror House earned its fame. In November 1974, Ronald Defoe Jr. reportedly shot six family members in the house and was convicted of murder. Ronald at first denied doing it, but later admitted to being possessed by the devil. The house was later occupied by the Lutz family, who told stories of how ghosts haunted them. The Lutzes lived there for only 28 days before fleeing. They couldn't keep up with the paranormal occurrences in the mansion. Although the house is currently occupied by new owners, the address changed to protect them. The stories from books and movies are sure to strike fear in anyone. You might not want to live there, even for free. Conclusion Most of these houses you wouldn't want to live in for free have the grandest architecture rich in history, but the stories of horror attached to them would surely spook you if you were to live there. While some of these stories surrounding the mysteries of the haunted mansions have been debunked, would you still consider living in them? If you enjoyed this video and want more content from us, make sure to subscribe to our channel.